Hello, everybody, and welcome to this private session to help you learn more about the Ideal Directories platform and business opportunity. I'm Justin, one of the co-founders here, and today we are going to talk about the Ideal Directories platform and the opportunity from top to bottom. We're going to discuss how the program works. I'll walk you through some of the most important features. I'll show you how you can make money with your own business directory and coupon website, because here at Ideal Directories, it's all about helping small businesses and recurring revenue. So if you're here, you know that businesses need help advertising online and you know how important a recurring revenue business model is. Now, some of you are probably looking for something that's part-time or nights and weekends for some supplementary income. And that's this is perfect for that. But others may also be here to make this their full-time gig. And I love that too. So we're going to talk about all that today and a lot more, so let's get this going. I would, however, like to introduce you to the Q&A tab, which you're gonna see, I think, on the top, or I don't know, bottom of your screen, but wherever it is, find it, and then write me a note to let me know you can hear me, give me the city and state you're from. I wanna get a sense of where everyone is connecting from today. And I also wanna know who I'm speaking to, and not just an empty room. Um, and I'm also going to post a quick poll that will hopefully tell me a little bit more about you. This poll in particular is going to be to help me understand what part of running a business you might be most concerned about. So I'm going to launch that right now. What I'm really curious to know is if you think that you know the sales part of a business, the marketing part of a business, uh, the technical stuff, or just making the time is where you're uh, concerns are focused around. So that's going up now, if you wouldn't mind filling that out. And while you are, let's take a look at our agenda. So we're going to start today by answering the question, what is Ideal Directory? It's a pretty good place to start, right? Following that will be some insight on how you make money, and we'll even offer some coveted uh, special tips and suggestions that will help you maximize your efforts. Next, there'll be a discussion on how to market your directory, which I know is an important question for many of you. Then we'll do a platform demonstration to give you a behind the scenes look at the platform, discuss the cost and what's involved to get started, and then wrap it up with a live Q&A where you can ask me anything you'd like. So it looks like you guys are chiming in. Um, wow. Oklahoma is being represented. Maryland, Texas, Utah, Vermont, Florida, New York. Hello, New York. Cool. Very good. And over on the polls. Wow. This is, I, this is the first time I've seen this. It looks like you are perfectly split between sales, marketing, and making time. No one has mentioned technical stuff yet being a concern of theirs. That's good because our platform is super easy, and I think I will be able to uh, demonstrate that as we go on in our conversation today. So let's start from the top while the rest of you are filling that in. What is Ideal Directories? Ideal Directories lets you own a hyper-local community website that features local businesses, coupons, promotions, deals, and events in and around your neighborhood, community, town, or city. You make money by selling business listings on your site. The exposure they get is very valuable. Businesses get what's called a business profile listing, packed with photos, videos, testimonials, and more, which I'm going to show you here in a little while. Plus, you can sell them ads. The more listings and ads you sell, the more money you make. Now, we've invested a lot into this platform and the business model to make sure that you have everything you need to hit the ground running from day one. You're not just buying some software from us. And I think that will become very clear as we progress here. So that was quick and painless. Now you know what it is. But why? Why start a local business directory and coupon website for your town or city? Why now? I'll tell you. Creating a local business directory and coupon website is the perfect business opportunity. And here's what I mean by that. Okay. It's perfect for local businesses because they get effective, affordable advertising that they can easily understand and appreciate. You're offering them for a flat monthly fee, an unlimited amount of traffic and leads for their business that's targeting the local area they serve. Now it's also perfect for local consumers and local shoppers because it helps them find all those local deals, discounts, reviews, and events from local businesses. And it's also perfect for you 
because with ideal directories, you can start and run an online business with no prior technical experience, no prior knowledge, all while setting your own prices and calling your own shots. And that's, I think, a pretty good segue into talking about how you make money. So as we just stated, you make money selling business listings on your site. And because it's much less expensive than like, you know, traditional advertising, your newspapers and direct mail and stuff like that, it's a lot easier to sell. Take a look at the screenshot. Okay. This is the profile, excuse me, business profile listing that I just mentioned. So each business who appears on your site, they get a listing that looks just like this. It's got the name of the business, their phone number, their address, map with directions, a website link, reviews, hours of operation, social media connections, payment methods they accept, and about paragraph, coupons, events, promotions, a contact form, menus, videos, and a lot more. So this is almost like a little mini website that puts the business in the best light possible with all the most important information front and center. And businesses get all of this for one monthly price that you set yourself. Now, the average price that our clients generally sell listings for is $50 per month per business. But of course, you can set your own prices and charge however much you want. It's your decision. Now, regardless of how much you charge, I want to make sure you know that businesses can actually sign up for and create these listings themselves, paying with a debit or credit card right through your site with automatic monthly recurring payments that get deposited right into your bank account every month. And you keep 100% of the revenue. So let's do some math, shall we? The chart on this slide shows how much money you can make if you charge an average of just 50 bucks per month for each business to be listed on your site. Now remember, this amount is just a suggestion and you can charge as much or as little as you'd like. And you can also earn additional income by selling banner ads on your website. But let's focus on the sale of listings only for this part of our conversation. So starting on the left side of the screen, no, I think it's over here. Left side of the screen, I can't tell if it's mirrored or not, I never know. Um, if you sell just 25 advertisers, 25 local businesses, multiply that by 50 bucks per month, you're looking at a monthly income of 1,000, 250 bucks per month or $15,000 per year. 25 listings, guys, is nothing. There are hundreds, if not thousands of businesses and even the smallest markets. Regardless of what area you're serving, everyone has the potential to sell a lot more than 25 listings. 100, 200, even 1,000. And this chart illustrates that the income potential is huge and some of the margins because we only charge you a flat fee for your site and the platform and you'll pay the same amount whether you have 25 listings or 250 listings sold on your site. That's one of the things that makes this a very scalable business model. So who's intimidated? Raise their hand. No one. That's what I thought. Okay, look, we're talking about making sales that are give or take 50 bucks to businesses who are accustomed to spending a lot more than that on advertising. So when it comes to selling these listings, it's simple. It's straightforward. It's affordable. Nonetheless, I do have some quick tips and suggestions to share with you today. The first one is to think long term. Now, look, this is not a get rich quick scheme and you're not going to be an overnight success. Can you launch your site by tomorrow using our platform if you sign up today? Yes. Will you make your first thousand dollars tomorrow? Mm, probably not. Focus on your year over year revenue, not the number of sales you close in your first month, because once you get yourself into a groove, and you're selling one listing per week, for example, that's 50 listings that you'll have in a year's time. And 50 listings times 50 bucks a month, that's $2,500 in your pocket each month. Not a bad deal for closing some sales, offering affordable local advertising to small businesses that they desperately need. Here's another tip. Hire a sales rep. If you don't want to do the sales yourself, forget it. Or even if you want to accelerate the process of bigger revenue numbers, bring a commission sales rep on board. They'll do the work with or for you incentivize them with each sale that they make. And we have some suggestions on uh, how to go about sharing the revenue with them. Once you come on board, uh, we talk about compensation plans that you can implement that really makes sense for uh, individual salespeople. Uh, I've got another tip for you. Regardless of who's doing the sales, if it's you or a rep, I don't care. I want to help you by telling you who you can start targeting. Now, the truth is every business 
can benefit from being listed on your site. But I want to give you a quick rundown of the industries that most people tend to gravitate to first and why. So let's go through them together. Now, the first is restaurants. Grab a pen, folks, because I'm going to give you some information that you can really benefit from here. Restaurants. They're known to invest heavily in local advertising, and they have a lot of competition to beat out. Remember, it's broad, this industry, okay? It's not just Italian restaurants and barbecue restaurants, but this also encompasses your delis, diners, sushi, gourmet food shops, ice cream shops, bagel shops, bakeries, and a heck of a lot more. Tons of opportunities in the restaurants and food service industry. Next, home improvement. Now, home improvement's cool because they generally sell big ticket purchases. So they're often willing to invest more in their advertising to land that next client. Everyone from painters, electricians, interior designers, upholstery cleaning, solar panel companies, landscapers, chimney cleaning, garage door repairs, they all fit into this very broad segment. Then we get into professional services. So this is going to be like your lawyers, your accountants, uh, tax preppers, business consultants, private investigators, mortgage brokers, life coaches, insurance agents, web designers, lots of folks in this industry as well. They're all generally, these are going to be like your, your work from home or, or small offices uh, type businesses. They don't get the street traffic or the exposure that other storefronts benefit from. So they need all the online exposure that they can get. Now let's talk about automotive. Now, this is interesting because they rely primarily on trust amongst a very local clientele. Nobody wants to travel 15 miles with a flat tire, okay, <laughs> for some auto repair. They want to be able to trust what their local auto repair company says is wrong with their car. So trust is a big factor in auto repair. Now, directory listings help them build that trust and credibility while making themselves known to the local community all in one set in, in one shot. Now, this segment also includes not just your mechanics, but also your body shops, tire and wheel repair, towing companies detailing services, and a lot more. Now, we're only halfway through, guys, so stay with me here. Next is healthcare providers. This is a highly competitive industry with a wide range of demographics that they appeal to. Think about all the family practices, the dentists, plastic surgeons, psychiatrists, uh, medical spas, veterinarians, chiropractors, and acupuncturists all vying for new patients in your area. This market's big and their pockets are deep. Then, we have your retail stores, beauty salons, and boutiques. These are the mom and pop shops that are the anchors of all the retail space in every single town across the country. They have intense competition from your larger franchises and big box retailers, so they need your help. Whether they're a jeweler, or a hair salon, a sporting goods store, barber shop, wine store, these guys need to be featured online so that they can compete with the big guys. Now, these next two categories get overlooked a lot. First, child care and education services, which consists of your daycare, tutoring, children's fitness, early learning programs, and kids' party places. They thrive on trust and reliability. Parents do a ton of research before making a decision, you know, where they're gonna have their kids' uh, birthday party or whatever. So the more they see about a business in this segment, the more convinced that they become that they're making the right choice. Finally, outdoor activities, especially during the pandemic. Outdoor activities have seen a huge spike in public interest because of social distancing. And they're being catapulted into digital local advertising that they never perhaps even needed to do before. So they are in a situation where they have to capitalize on this movement. They need all the exposure that they can get because a lot more attention is being drawn to this industry. Everything from wineries to petting zoos to breweries, boat tours, amusement parks, uh, mini golf, fishing charters, so on and so forth. I'm going to venture to say that you didn't even realize how vast the opportunity was in terms of local businesses, right? And these are just our top recommendations. I want you to think about something for a second, okay? These top eight industries that I just displayed here for you. I listed off about 40 business types total if you were taking notes. 
Now, if you just sold one listing to each of these business types and you charge them 50 bucks a month, that's $2,000 a month right there. You can do this. Now, let's turn our attention to a very popular question people ask us, and we love to hear this question because it shows you're thinking. No insult to those who are not thinking this, but whatever. The question is, how do I market my business directory website? Of course, I get it. You want to know what it takes to get a website like this out there to the people and the businesses in the community. That's why once you sign up, we give you access to professionally designed sales and marketing material to help you look professional, promote your site, and attract advertisers, including our coveted Getting Started Guide, a beautiful four-page marketing brochure, sales flyers, sample sales scripts, business card templates, a press release template, a QR code leave behind, advertiser order form templates, and a heck of a lot more. Oh, and how can I forget? The good old ebook that helps you figure out or, or review a hundred different ways to market your business directory website. I'm gonna point out a few of my favorites. First, social media marketing. Whether it's Facebook or Instagram or whatever, Graham, you can find and build an online community of business owners and shoppers for free with just a little bit of time in front of a computer or a cell phone. It's one of the most efficient, fun, and creative ways to market your website. Another is business to business networking, specifically with the local chamber of commerce. So for those of you who are in the dark about this, a local chamber of commerce is a group of business owners in your community who gather regularly to network, build relationships, and help each other out. Lots of them do business within the group, uh, primarily or exclusively with each other. And it's a great way to rub elbows with people who could be potential clients of yours. Another favorite that I'll highlight today is to do door to door sales. So talking with and visiting local businesses is not only a great way to close deals, but it's a great way to introduce and talk about the website. Because look, every time you pitch your site to a local business, every time you try to sell someone a listing, you're actively spreading the word in your community. We all know that marketing and sales go hand in hand, but this is probably the absolute best example of that. And a lot of you may be wondering, but wait, uh, do I need traffic? first on my site in order to get started with selling listings? And the answer is a resounding no. You do not need traffic to start selling. If a potential client raises this concern, just be prepared. And here's a simple way to address this. I just did a video on this relatively recently. You can watch it on our site. But the gist of it is this. First, you gotta be honest. Acknowledge that the site is in fact new. And tell them about your goals. You might say, well, we don't have a ton of traffic right now. We have goals of growing our site and getting thousands of local visitors every month. We're not there yet, but we have plans in place to get there. Then talk about your marketing plans. Discuss what you'll be doing, everything from optimizing the site for local search to getting active on social media, looking at sponsorship opportunities in the community, along with networking. Assure them that you'll do everything you can to make the site a true community resource so they get the value that they're paying for. Now, you can also highlight your low pricing. Remind them that the rates that you're showing them today, 50 bucks a month, whatever it is, are introductory and that they won't stay this way when you come closer to and achieve your traffic goals. But you might incentivize them to sign up now by promising to keep their introductory rates in place for the life of your business relationship. Imagine that. Someone can sign up today. And when you double or triple your prices, they will continue to pay the exact same amount they signed up for today. That's a very compelling offer. Finally, don't forget to sell yourself. You got to remember that people don't just buy into your site. They buy into you. Talk about your passion for helping local businesses, about your time spent growing up or raising a family in the area, your genuine desire to offer affordable advertising options for local businesses. Assure them that as a fellow local business owner, which you are now, you'll work to make them happy and eager to share this site with their entire network, all their friends, and all of their family. Now, let's take a moment to look at the platform. Now, again, none of I cannot believe none of you said the technical stuff is, is bothering you. So look, normally I do a little platform demonstration, but I don't have to. 
So if you want to see me do a platform demonstration to see the dashboard and stuff like that, please say platform demo in the questions. And if you don't, then we can just skip over this and continue the conversation. I don't want to bog you guys down with stuff you don't want to see. So in the questions, if you want to see it, all I need is like one or two people to say it and I'll just do it. Um, if you say platform demo, I'll go in and do it. All right, Ken, you got a deal, my friend. Ken's like, these guys are just being, being confident. I need to see the demo. All right, cool. Let's do it. So I'm going to quickly, because I can't change my screen without jumping through hoops here. Uh, um, stay on page. No, I don't want to leave. Stay. Stay. Okay. I'm just going to change my screen out for a quick second. And then I should be able to pull up this. All right, good. I think that worked. Let's get me back up there. Here I am. All right, good. So this is the public view of your site. So when you first get your account set up with us, your site's going to look something like this. It's like ready to go. Okay, all you have to do is just swap out a few things. But to give you a quick overview, your homepage consists of this interactive form that people can use to search for local businesses. You can modify all this text and all these images and your logo and stuff like that. You scroll down. These are the people paying you the most money, okay, because they're getting featured on your homepage. This is a very good spot to be able to get local exposure. So these guys are paying you the most money. Now, let's explore a little bit. If someone conducts a search or if they go to the browse listings page, this is where we show you all the businesses and what we call list view. And then from this view or even from the homepage, if you click on one of these, this takes you into that business profile listing we talked about earlier, where you have a rotation of images in a little slideshow. You have the business name, you have the address, you got the phone number, you got the map of directions, hours of operation, payment methods they accept, about paragraph, the reviews, a contact form, and anything and everything practically that they could possibly want to say about their business to put them in a good light. It's all here. It's all editable by you or the business owner. Now, the coupons and deals page is pretty cool because this takes all the coupons and deals from all the listings that are active on your site and it lists them here. So this is going to basically double the amount of exposure any business has on the site so long as they're offering a coupon or promotion or discount of some kind. Same is true about events. Any business listing that has an event attached to it will appear on the events page. So now they're getting, again, more and more and more exposure. Um, so all these will be listed in chronological order. The About Us page will allow you to tell your story and what you know got you started with a, a site like this. And the Advertise page is where people can choose their plan to sign up for a listing. Um, you can feature as many as three different plans here, and then you, your clients can just come down and click Get Started, choose their plan, and pay for their listing right on your site. So the front end of this platform of the of the website is very simple and straightforward. Let me take you over to the dashboard to encourage you as well that this is just as easy to understand. So from your dashboard, a couple of things I'm going to point out to you is that you can, of course, upload your own logo. We offer logo design services as well. Uh, point your own domain name. Um, you know, there's no reason why you can't have this site launched, fully set up, looking great the same day that you sign up. You can, of course, control the pricing for all those three plans I just showed you. You can control the yearly price as well as the monthly price. You can set up coupon codes and all fun stuff. You're in full control over the categories. Now, by default, we give you a bunch of categories on the site. You can modify these as you wish. And from the Manage Listings screen is where you can actually manage each and every business that's featured on your site. Go in and edit those listings individually. Take them online or offline. Make them claimable or not. All that fun stuff. Now, I want to show you and give you confidence the process for getting the site populated with listings that you want to feature locally. So someone give me a city and state. Actually, I'm going to go back to the folks in the beginning here, give me a city and state, because I am going to randomly choose one. Actually, all I got were states. Someone give me a city and a state, and I will um, do a quick demonstration here using our, our uh, prospecting tool. Our prospecting tool is a really great way to figure out where the clearest opportunities are to get uh, listings added for your business. All right, so Darcy is saying Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. So let's do that, Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Now, since you recall from my list of industries I gave you earlier, we said that restaurants is a really good industry to target. So I'm gonna type in restaurant and click search. 
So now this is going to show me a nice long list of all the restaurants in and around Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, with the name of the business, the phone number, the address, the website if they have one. And then right from here, I can choose to add this business to the website with just one click. So let's say I want to add Cafe 110. Okay, all I'm going to do is click Choose a Category, put them into Restaurants and Food Service, and click Create Listing. And just like that, I have now done about 50% of the work for getting this listing populated on my website. If I click View Listing, look at this. I did this with just one click. Okay, so now we're halfway there. A lot of our clients will take the time to go and edit this listing, add some photos, add some uh, reviews they find online, add some other stuff to really round this out. And now if you were to pitch Cafe 110 on the listing on your website, you could show them this ahead of time and say, look, this is what we've uh, spent some time working on for you. For 50 bucks a month, you can take ownership of this listing, control any aspect of this whenever you want, and this will help you in your local marketing and um, uh, advertising uh, efforts. And it's a very simple, straightforward pitch. You have an audience of visitors coming to your site. They have an interest in getting in front of that audience. And for 50 bucks a month, it's a pretty easy sale. Back in your dashboard, you can control users, add additional folks onto your account with you. You can look at your statistics to see how your site is performing over time. You can also um, uh, manage the, where is it? What I want to show you, the pages of the site. So each page can be individually managed and your general settings screen gives you the opportunity to point the domain name to the site. Very straightforward. Our support team is here to help if you need anything, but I'm trying to help you understand that if you're eager to get something going, this will allow you to do that right away. So let me just switch my screen back to what we were looking at before. And if you guys have any questions about what I just showed you, please don't be shy. Just post them and myself, and my moderator, will make sure we get on those. Now, back to our conversation. Um, ba -dum, ba -dum. Hide that. There we go. Now I can see what you see. Perfect. All right. So let's talk about what's involved in terms of cost and getting started. So we have two plans, an option to pay monthly and an option to pay yearly. You're probably just, and I see three plans. I know, let me explain. So our monthly plan is $199 a month with an additional setup fee of $199. Our yearly plan is $19.90 per year. However, what you see, this middle plan, is our promotion, which is where you get the first setup fee of $199 completely waived on the monthly fee. So you can get started by paying your first month's payment of $199, and that's it. So obviously choose which plan is best for you, whether it's monthly or yearly, but this monthly plan looks really attractive to me because without an additional setup fee, you can just get going right away, $199 um, out of your pocket, and that's it. It gives you everything you need to get started, and frankly, all the features included on this plan that you're really going to need. So that's usually where I recommend going. I'm just going to highlight it for you. It's the middle plan here. If you go to our pricing page, that's what you're going to look for. So what you're paying for in a platform on a monthly basis, it's our software, but you're starting your own business. I'm going to remind you that your site is 100% in your business. We don't tell you how to run it. You set your own prices. You charge however much you want. There's no hidden royalties, no franchise fees. We keep our hands off of your revenue. And the software is also white labeled. So no one will know that you're using our platform behind the scenes. And of course, we built the software to be incredibly user friendly. So there's no experience required to get started. And the best part is that our pricing includes everything that you actually need. You don't have to worry about any of the technical stuff because we give you your own turnkey website that you can put your own domain name on. We provide the super secure cloud hosting. It's fully mobile optimized for all devices. You get professionally designed marketing material to help you promote your business. Expert training and support with built-in payment processing so your clients can sign up themselves by inputting their credit card. It's all here. All you have to do is go out and sell. Now, here are a few tips for success that I'd like to share with you before we wrap this up. First, get started right away. Maybe you have a friend or family member who runs a business or who's a, a manager in a business. Put together a listing for them because building a real listing for a real business will help you get familiar with the platform and build up your confidence. And never stop generating leads. 
Create a target number of leads every day for yourself. Maybe it's 20, 40, 80, 100. The more leads you have, the more sales you'll generate. Remember to utilize the concept of a free listing. because Something free is always nice. Let them know that you don't require a payment to show them what you're capable of offering them. My next tip is to pick a niche or niche. Maybe you have personal experience working at a restaurant and focus on restaurants. Maybe you have a passion for gardening, then target landscapers. Focus on what you know to make a success of it. One thing I want to emphasize is take advantage of the sales and marketing material that you get access to when you sign up. You're going to find flyers, brochures, sales scripts, and more, which you can customize and start using to promote your business right away. And be sure not to undervalue or underprice your services. You're offering business owners a substantial value proposition, so sell with confidence that this is the best deal going. And stay on track and stay committed. Following our steps to success can get you there if you're persistent. Finally, utilize our support. We're here to help you make sure you have every chance at being successful. Reach out to our support team because that's what it's there for. And that's it. Now you know the program, how it works, what's included, what's involved, everything you need to know about starting and launching a business directory website. I'm now going to open up the floor for questions. So please look for the Q&A icon if you haven't already and submit your questions. Looks like my moderator is doing a pretty good job of getting you guys responses to your questions. I'm going to pick out some of my favorites that were asked and see if I can um, address these. Um, okay, the first question that came in is how do we make revenue from ideal directories? Does the system have a function or tool that allows you to determine leads? Where these people need a directory? Yeah, uh, like I just showed you, this is probably asked before I did the platform demonstration, but that local prospecting tool is a great way to help you understand where the best prospects are in and around your neighborhood so that you can effectively sell listings to businesses that need your services. Um, the next question was, Okay, does each business get their own login that they have the ability to update their business information and generate coupons, for example? Yes. So when businesses sign up for, uh, for a listing themselves on your website, they get immediately logged in because they're creating a username and password during the sign up process. If you decide to create a listing for them and then sell that listing to them, uh, then you can, of course, manually create a login for your client. But yes, 100%, they can uh, totally manage every aspect of their uh, listing whenever they want to. Darcy saying, how does the payment processing work? Um, Stripe asked for a number but wouldn't take a social security number. Can you help me understand what number is needed to set up the payment info through Stripe? Can't remember them. Yeah, so it is Stripe. Um, and when you're setting up an account with them, you don't need to have a business or EIN them in order to have uh, uh, set, a, uh, set up an account. If, however, during the setup process, you indicate that you already own a business, they're going to ask you for your business uh, EIN number. But if you don't have a you know corporation or LLC or anything like that, then yeah, then you're going to use, I would assume, your social security number to get that account set up. Um, Darcy, are you already a client that you're, you're struggling with this? You just want to make sure you have all your ducks in a row before you sign up. Uh, one of the things I know about Stripe is that they're going to want to see where you are planning on processing payments from before they give you the official green light for your account. So you're going to need to have your site live and your domain name pointed before you can effectively set that Stripe account up. But don't worry, it's a very quick process and it'll probably make a lot more sense once you have the, the Ideal Directories account uh, set up. Uh, Tundurai, Tundurai said, what's the best way to get initial listings for the directory? So one of my favorite ways, Tundurai, is to actually use what I just did, the local prospecting tool, add businesses that you feel are good prospects, flesh out their listings, which will take you three to five minutes, add photos and reviews and stuff like that, and then pitch them and say, hey, um, I'd like to have you featured on my local business directory site where we already have a listing created for your business. It looks great has all the most important information about your business. And all you got to do is uh, pay the $50 a month to take ownership of it. So you can be in total control of what 
uh, this listing says about your business. Every piece of online content that appears for a business is super valuable to every business. Um, next question is, how do you recommend I structure my pricing? So good question. Uh, the, the, the pricing that we give you out of the gate, so to speak, works in almost any market. You know, I think we do something like 39, 49, 59, where that middle price is kind of your target price of $50. Uh, it's a very effective way to go about selling listings. There's no right or wrong way to do it though. I've seen people uh, have their prices start as little as 20. I've seen people start with their pricing of over hundred bucks. The cool thing about our platform is we offer you the ability to do coupon codes. So that means that even if you set your price at hundred dollars a month, you can create a coupon code that's like whatever, save 50. And then anyone who signs up can punch in that code and save whatever percent you want to set up. So 50% off, for example. So it could be a great way to establish the, you know, what the actual value is for being listed on the site, but then incentivize people to take action right away with a coupon code so they can save money. Ken's asking, is this a territory based site? So Ken, our best suggestion to our clients is to focus on a town or a city, specifically one that either you have a, a close connection to or that you live in. The closer to your residence that you set up a site, the more likely you are to succeed because of the fact that it's so close. You understand the market. You understand the, the business atmosphere there. And if you had to, you can go and visit with businesses without having to take a long drive. So I always like to recommend people focus on their local territory first. And you don't need a big territory to be effective with this. I've seen markets as small as, you know, 15,000 population have a successful site because then you have a really concentrated uh, audience that the business owner really appreciates. You know, lots of businesses, any of the categories I listed, whether it's home improvement or restaurants or professional services or healthcare, they don't necessarily want to focus on bringing people from 40 miles away to their business because it's unlikely they're going to be a repeat customer, right? The closer to their physical location that their clients are, the, the greater the likelihood that those clients will be repeat customers. So I say don't be ashamed or shy or concerned about the size of the industry you're targeting when it comes to, you know, if your word is too small, almost any market size this can be very, very effective. In. I've even seen people find big cities and then chop it up. So they're only focused on, focusing on one small segment of the city to really have a concentrated marketing effort um, in that territory. Let's see, what are the questions? Can you go over the pricing again? Yes, so the pricing, the way it works is you choose monthly or yearly, um, $1.99 per month. And that's with the setup fee waived, so no additional setup fee, which is usually the case. That's going on to the end of this month. So you have another couple of days here to take advantage of that. Um, one ninety nine per month or nineteen ninety per year. When you do the nineteen ninety per year, you do uh, save a little bit of money because that's basically getting two months free, um, and you get a couple of other small incentives. But this limited time special offer, in my opinion, it's the way to go especially if you're, you know, brand new and I've never done anything like this before. That would be my personal suggestion. All right. I think we might be done here. I don't want to keep you guys too long and we're getting about to our, our cutoff of uh, time here. So let's do this. If anybody has any questions after we wrap up, it's like, oh, I forgot to ask something. Um, send an email to sales at idealdirectories.com or reach out to your sales rep who has probably been in communication with you via phone or email at this point. Uh, if you have any final questions before signing up, you can do that. Otherwise, go to idealdirectories.com and you can fill out the form to get started. Uh, I really appreciate you all being a part of this today. Thank you so much for your attendance and attention. Hope you have a great rest of the day, rest of the week, rest of the month. Happy uh, almost October. I'll talk to you later. Take care.